what are you doing? Marking um, my favorite. It's hard to choose. Which one? It's really hard, but I'm going to have to choose. It looks really good with the darkness in the back. Mm -hmm. And I don't know. It's pretty. <laughs> Why did you pick this as your favorite? Because I like the flowers and the color, and it's of me, so. That's my favorite. <laughs> right, why did you think this is your favorite? Because most people would walk past that log and not even see it. Yeah. But he saw it and saw it as an opportunity for a great picture. Yay. So I just think that was quite brilliant. <laughs> Alright, Josh, why is this your favorite? Well, I, I, I really like all like the super macro shots, which are like, like the super close up stuff like this one and Smarties mm -hmm. and that one. But, uh, I don't know. It's just a, it's a nice photo. It, it brings a good message. What's the message? I don't know. It, just, it brings a good message. <laughs> you want to try some of that? Okay, we'll get this one up here. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Matthew, which one is your favorite? Um, I like them all. They're all good pictures. I had fun. A lot of fun taking them all. I'd like to thank Uncle Nick for getting me started. Well, all that, the one summer that he came here with his camera, and yeah, it's too bad you couldn't be here. You know, it's kind of far away for you to get here. It'd be great if you could be here, so yeah. Can you tell me why it's your favorite? Because it's a beaver dam. Wow, look at the beaver. What's the beaver doing to you? Can you tell? Uh, he's swimming. All right, tell us about the beaver shot, Matthew. Um, well, it's kind of a sequence. That's what it starts out as, and that's what it ends as. And uh, Josh helped me out with this one because he found the beaver. And right as it lifted his tail up out of the water, I got the picture, and then I got the splash after that. Very cool. Which one did you pick? I picked that one because it looks cool, and he's going like that. Wow. Whee! Had a good time, sat there for four hours taking pictures of the uh, planes and everything. One is I like the, the angle of the plane on it, and I like that the color of the back of the sky. It's not super bright. It actually adds to the tone of that plane. The plane has a lot of historical value, both in Alberta and, and to Canadians in, in the war. I think this shot of Luke is my favorite because I really like the focus on the eyes and I think there's lots of emotion in, in the picture. And I like also the way it's cropped with the top of his head cut off. I think that's a really neat way to focus it and frame it. And uh, yes, I just think it's one of those great moments captured perfectly on film. That's good. Hey Luke, which one is your favorite? This one. And why is that your favorite? It has Chuck on it. Who's Chuck? The guy ran from Matthew. Aww. Yeah, in the back. Hey, what's over here? This one is my favorite because I like the contrast between this really, really young guy and this really, really old guy and how he's just starting in life and how life has thrown him some serious, serious hardships. You can see the sort of faded glory of the machinery behind him and wow, it's just almost touching him and they're almost linked with that sort of rusty agedness.
We have about two hundred forty dollars. And will that buy a lens? Um, yeah. Debatable. Depends on how good of a lens it is, how big it is. What kind of lens do you want to buy? Uh, I want to buy a new telephoto lens, a bigger one. And how much do they cost? Um, I don't know. The cheap ones I think are around four hundred, and I think my dad's also giving me money and stuff too. So. And then the expensive ones, like if you go like serious, like the football dudes that have like the ones that are like that long, they're like a thousand and stuff. Holy cow! What did you think out? And why did you like the puppy the best? Why did you choose the puppy? Because it's cute? Can you say those words? Because it's cute. He is cute, isn't he? Look. Aww. I just love the grasses and the texture that he catches in the foreground and then the gorgeous colors of the water and the mountains. And it's just so Alberta. I'm hoping it's Alberta. <laughs> That's why I chose this one. I think it's BC actually. <laughs> Is it? Okay, it's so Canada. <laughs> I just really like how it's looking up into the sky and the cloud formations. Reminds me of a nice summer day laying on the grass just looking up. I like that one. My favorite, and my Auntie Karina. <laughs> I don't know, it just captured your dad so well and it just kind of got my sentimentality going. Chris and your dad and all the memories we have when we were kids. And it just, your dad looks so wise and old. We didn't see this. <laughs> it just, I love this picture. It just, uh, and it's a great one at Chris. Well, everything, just the composition of the thing. Just beautiful with the dew on the leaves like that. Yeah. Thank you.